Welcome back. This is the seventh installment in a series of tutorials bent on introducing new users to Inspiration 8. And in this tutorial we're going to look at hyperlinking and we're going to do several different kinds of hyperlinks. First of all, let's suppose that in our main idea bubble here we wanted to link that to the Canada's Food Guide website. Here's the website. Here's the address. Okay, It's already highlighted. If it wasn't, we would click and drag to highlight it. Two things we could do. We could right click and choose copy or we can go control C to copy that. We're going to go back to inspiration now and with this highlighted, again, two things we can do. We can either click on the hyperlink button here or we can right click and go to edit hyperlink. Now in this case it's going to be a web page so we leave that selected. We don't want to change our hyperlink text because that's the text that will appear in our bubble. So if we change that we end up messing up our bubble. We're going to get rid of this HTTP colon slash slash here because we have that in the address we copied. Again I can right click and choose paste or I can go control V as in Victor to paste that address. We'll click OK. Now I'm just going to go back to the internet here and I'm going to close that tab, that window. And when I do that, I'm doing that just so that we can see that this actually works. When I click on Canada's Food Guide here, first of all you notice it's now blue and it's underlined. And if I hover over it, we'll actually see the web address that we will visit by clicking on it. So we click on that and it takes us directly to the website. So that's linking to a website. There are several other ways we can link in Inspiration as well. So let's take a look at those. We can link to almost any file type in Inspiration including video files. So in this case we're going to right click and go to edit hyperlink and I'm going to choose file this time and the hyperlink text again is the content of our bubble. We're going to go to select file and we're going to look for a movie and we click open and click OK. Once again we see that the text becomes blue and underlined which is universal for a hyperlink and when we click on that this time it's going to bring up our media player So in that case we've linked to a video file that we had on our computer. Now the other thing that you can do with hyperlinking is you can actually create linked inspiration webs. So for example, as a teacher you might create a rough web with meat and meat alternatives, grain products and so on and then have students flesh those out in their own webs that you would link to. So let's take a look at how that might work. I've created a small web about dried beans so I'm going to right click, edit hyperlink and again this is a file. Don't change the link text, go to select file and here it is, driedbeans.isf. .isf is the extension that Inspiration uses for its files. Click open and click OK. Again we see that the text has become the link. Notice that it's never the graphic or the bubble that's the link, it's the text. So we click on the text, that goes off and it opens up our other web. So we can interconnect Inspiration webs by using the hyperlink feature. And that's three different ways that we can use hyperlinks and in inspiration. But keep in mind there are many others. You could link to Word documents, to PDF files, audio files, video files, and so on to enhance your inspiration web. By doing this, we are now moving away from inspiration being a planning tool and we're using inspiration as a presentation tool, which is another one of its functions.